Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be your love reading for March. So this will still be your birthday month. Let's see what's going on with Pisces in March with love, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. I'm starting off with this other variation of the Rider Waite. So we're gonna just get some tarot messages. I'm not gonna do reversals cause I'm just not sure if the deck is all reversed or anything like that. So let's see what's going on with Pisces in love. I just pulled two. We've got the Hierophant and the Emperor. I'm getting a lot of masculine energy here. This is the Divine Masculine card. This is a spiritual journey. This is someone who's very much like in control and rigid and like this controlling energy I'm kind of seeing. You guys might feel very stifled by this strong masculine energy in your life. This is Aries and this is Taurus, okay? So interesting because, you know, we have Pisces season, then we have Aries and Taurus. It could also be that you're prepping for something spiritually in those coming months. Um, a romantic situation that could be a higher level um, soul connection here. Or you could be going through some lessons with your divine masculine here. Your masculine could also be awakening to this connection as well. Yeah, look at this. So your masculine could end up coming forward here, offering their cup of love, showing you their feelings. That's very, very interesting, guys. Um, if you are the masculine, then take this reverse, you know, but this is the divine masculine coming forward, realizing this spiritual journey. And Hierophant could also be marriage and something serious and long lasting. So it could be that your person wants to um, take responsibility. They want to come forward and you know, be a solid, reliable counterpart, maybe for the long haul here. Very interesting with that Ace of Cups energy, Pisces, and then Ace of Swords. We have a new beginning, a clear new beginning, them opening their heart, them even opening their mind, you getting some truths. Um, they could be speaking some truths to you. This is very interesting energy, Pisces. So be prepared. I'm hearing expect the unexpected with what's to come here in March for your birthday month because I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of answers and a lot of clarity on things that you weren't sure of before okay so I'm going to pull from messages of love from all things intuitive and I'm going to also pull hmm because I was going to do another tarot but I don't really have to do that okay so I'm going to pull from the starseed oracle I felt like those tarot messages were pretty succinct here. Okay, so let's see what other themes are going on with you guys in love and on your spiritual journey in love. It seems like you guys are on a spiritual journey. Look at that twin flame. We've already got the emperor. Now we've got twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. So it could be that your twin flame, something happens with you guys in March in love. Okay, this is your twin flame we're talking about here. Let's get the star seed oracle clarity on this. The seven star sisters, birthing creations, tapestry of life, expression. So I feel your twin flame is going to try to find a way to express their feelings, to express their heart, to open your heart to me. It's going to be like this awakening thing for you guys both in March, I feel like, or it's going to be the start of that. Okay, self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Now, just because your twin flame comes around doesn't mean everything is roses. You want to make sure that you stay in a balanced energy. You don't want to get crazy. You don't want to get extreme. If you get into that extreme, even excitement, it means that you're still not healed because that's an addictive energy. So you want to make sure you're staying grounded. You're taking care of yourself. You're still putting yourself first, regardless of what romantic opportunities come your way okay putting yourself first is still key in this dynamic look at this i can't seem to get these cards to stay okay let's get here all paths lead home inner authority intuition turn your gaze within and i find this really interesting because i find the emperor and the and the hierophant taurus and aries energy to be all about authority and so if you're feeling like there's an energy outside of you that is overtaking your energy, remember, you have the ultimate sovereignty over yourself. Nothing can force you. No one's in control of you. You're on your own path. You get to make your own decisions. So remember, it all comes from within. You can put yourself first in this situation, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a twin flame. They don't get a say in your decisions in your life and what feels right for you energetically. 
let's say your twin flame does come along and they're ready to be with you. If you're not in a space and this is all you wanted for so long and then finally it happens, guess what? The ultimate thing on this journey is not about union. It's about always putting yourself first. So if they come around at a time where it's not right for you, guess what? You still put yourself before this journey because that's the ultimate test of did you heal? It's not about because they're coming forward in union, okay? So let's see. What does Pisces need to surrender in love? in March here. What are you guys surrendering? Surrender defensiveness. I feel this is very good for Pisces or water signs in general, okay? Sometimes you can feel like people don't understand. You can feel like your voice isn't being heard. It's also because you're not honoring yourself when you feel like you need to really defend or you feel like you're projecting your own insecurities onto people. If you are in a good place with yourself, you won't even have to be defensive, okay? But defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response. So if you get communication from your person and you find yourself wanting to be defensive, this is a, um, a warning to enter this communication in a different way remember to hold yourself in a positive way regardless of the energy that this person brings to the table okay you don't want to get into these ego battles if you especially if you've had them in the past surrender to effortlessness stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river this is also to me like the same as defensiveness so defensiveness is like a push up against the energy right you want to just let things flow. If someone has a stance and you don't agree, if someone has an opinion, an idea, and it doesn't go, you know what? Just let it go. Let it flow. Let them be. You stay in your own energy. That is number one, is putting yourself and your state of being first and your healing and the way you want to hold yourself and the way you want to conduct yourself is all in your control. All right, Pisces? So if someone comes at you in any kind of accusatory way, you just want to surrender that defensiveness. Okay, I'm going to pull from the Elemental Oracle and I want to see what's um, blocking your situation in love and what's assisting your situation in love. My cards all just fell. So what's blocking your situation in love and what's assisting your situation? What's blocking is fire, igni ignition, okay? So it could even be a fire sign, but this could also be the passion is almost too much with you guys and it's hindering you guys getting along. So there's almost too much passion and too much angst and energy within your situation. It's almost like things are going to blow up, okay? What's helping is growth and plants. And so what will really help you guys is to stay grounded, is to remember to incorporate an earth energy because earth can be like the calming thing to that fire, okay? So remember to, if you guys end up having communication, to stay grounded for all you also to do self-care things with planting, earth, um, being around nature, or even just doing meditations where you imagine the sense of plants and um, um, gardening and stuff like that. So I, I just feel like imagining yourself in a garden or putting your feet in the soil, working with plants, slowing down the energy this is what i just got for aries too it's like you guys don't want too much intensity you want to kind of ground things you want to kind of settle things okay especially in a twin flame dynamic things can get very heated and very intense okay so lastly i'm going to pull from carry from celestial forecast heart and soul love oracle what is your person want to express to you i do feel this is someone you've already been dealing with this is a twin flame if you're just meeting them you're just meeting them but your souls have already been dealing with each other for a long time so what do they want to communicate to you pisces beauty i am invisible to you i blend into the darkness of the night sky no matter what i do to share my light with you you choose to dim it by pushing me away ignoring me never giving me the time of day you're too busy mingling with the so-called beautiful ones but I feel this person is actually wanting to tell you that you're beautiful. That's the feeling I'm getting, okay? They do think you are beautiful. They do want to like express how beautiful you are to them, okay? I'm going to pull from my I will always love you to get clarity. I am going to reach out to you very soon. You guys, this is like a consistent message I'm getting. They're going to tell you 
how you stand above the rest, how you're actually the one that they think is beautiful, okay? Clarity. We just got this in Aries. Our relationship was not a healthy one. We knew it, but we chose to ignore it. At least I did. I allowed my love for you to cloud my judgment of what a good, loving, lasting relationship should be like. You guys are going to definitely get your clarity in March, I feel, okay? You're going to finally understand the situation. We had Ace of Swords in the beginning, so clarity is coming. Sunsets remind me of you, and that's like beauty. That's, you know, like they haven't let you go. They haven't stopped thinking about you. They're still inspired by this connection. They're still inspired by your beauty. All right, Pisces, that is your love reading for March. I hope it resonated with you. If you're new, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know you're new, and I'll say hello back. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.